It's me, Mr. Noah. I'm here with another video for you guys to keep you busy while we're stuck at home. I'm here today with my sidekick, Michael Keaton Batman. Say hi, Michael Keaton Batman. I'm Batman. And how are you dealing with being stuck here? I'm spending my time fighting for justice. Do you have anything else to say? Make sure you wash your hands. All right, great. So what I'm gonna teach you guys today is uh, how to draw a really simple cartoon dog or cat. And if you don't have one, then you can draw my dog if you'd like, or you can pretend you have a dog or draw your dream dog, dream. You can draw your dream dog if you would like. Okay, uh, let's get started. Hey artists, so the first step of drawing really anything is to look at it, find out what it actually looks like instead of just trying to draw it out of your head. So since I'm at home, I got my dog right here with me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and observe her for a little while. Okay, so I observed my dog for a little bit and I noticed a few things. Uh, and these are the things that I want you to take notice of too, of your pet. How big are the ears? Are they floppy or are they standing up? How long is the snout? And what sort of markings are on your dog or cat? And what does the collar look like? Are you gonna draw with us today, Michael Keaton Batman? Batman is horrible at art. That's all right, buddy. I'm sure you're gonna do just fine. Okay, so I'm back at my drawing table. I've got some supplies. I got a bunch of paper, an eraser, a Sharpie, another pencil just in case. Um, this is all you really need to do some drawing today. Drawing, I'm just gonna warm up a little bit since I haven't drawn in a while and I think some of you guys haven't either. So I'm just gonna start by making some circles on a piece of paper just to get my hand going. All right. I'm gonna try drawing some boxes really quick. Maybe some rainbow lines. Straight lines this way, straight lines that way. This is all just messing around. It's like uh, doing exercises in PE. You're just trying to warm up your hand. Do not push so hard on your pencil that you're dragging it down like this and creating such a hard, deep, deep line. Because that is extremely hard to erase. Instead, you want to barely hold on to your pencil. I'm just barely holding on to it. That way, as I draw, I can make these nice light lines, okay? So we're looking for something like that. Really light, light lines. I'm going to do three animals. I'm going to do a really small chihuahua. I'm going to do a cat, and then I'm going to do a dog. So I'm just going to draw a line down here, letting me know that that's the ground that they're standing on, okay? Let's see. I'm going to start here in the middle with the cat. So I'm gonna start by just getting a body shape, okay? Just a nice rainbow curve like that'll work today. I'm gonna make the dog just a little bit bigger because my dog is definitely bigger than my cat. And then I'm also gonna do a small little chihuahua over here just to show you the difference between all three. So basically it looks like three tombstones, but those are gonna be the bodies of our animals. At the top, we're gonna to do some circles for the heads. I'm gonna give circle up here for the dog, circle here for the cat, and I'm going to make the circle really big on this chihuahua because I want him to look kind of funny and cute. So one of the best ways to make something look cute is to have a big head, small body. And so this is going to be a nice cute little chihuahua. All right, let's start with Daphne. She's the big one right here. And I want to remember some of the things about my animal. So I know that she has kind of droopy ears, she's got a pink collar, and she's black with a white belly, okay? So let's start by adding her ears first to the top. I'm just gonna sketch in some little ears like this. And I always say that she has ponytails because her ears half stand up and half sit down. It's just because she's a mixed breed and one of the breeds of dogs has ears that stand up and the other breed has ones that lay down. So she's kind of in between. So she's gonna have these little floppy ears. Um, I'm gonna put a shape like this right here for the nose. It's kind of a, I don't know, rounded triangle shape that's upside down. And I realized that Daphne is a much skinnier dog than this, so I'm just gonna make her body a little bit 
bit skinnier, like that. I'm gonna put her paws down here in the front. I'm gonna draw some lines up like this for where her legs are gonna be. And everything right now is just kind of not really permanent. I'm just kind of throwing some lines in there. I'm not pushing very hard on my pencil, so that way I can erase things if I need to. Um, I'm gonna put some curves back here for her back legs. So I'm gonna make sure she has legs back there too. Okay. Over here on the cat, we do the same thing. Just draw some lines down like this. Okay. And her little paws at the end. And we'll do her little back legs too, sticking off the other side. Okay. Over here on our chihuahua, we'll give him little tiny legs. This is a little chihuahua feet sticking out the side like that. I'm kind of changing the shape of my body just a little bit. Little paws, just like that. Okay, so right now we got just the basics of cats and dogs, sort of what we're looking at. Now let's give the cat a nose. We're gonna give it a much smaller nose than the dog because cats have those little tiny noses. I'm gonna give her big eyes. through them like this, or the cat, something like that. Daphne's just gonna have little beady eyes because her eyes are really tiny and brown. And I always say that my dog looks really sad, so I'm gonna give her little sad eyes like that. I don't know why, she just always looks sad to me. Over here on the Chihuahua, I'm gonna give him really big googly eyes because my Chihuahua has huge googly eyes and they kind of stare off into different directions that. I'm going to give him a little nose, kind of like the same size as a cat. And so now we got eyes and noses on all of our animals. And notice I haven't erased anything yet because I'm drawing so lightly. It doesn't really matter if I have those lines there because I'm just going to erase them later anyway or I might even keep them. I don't know. All right, so chihuahuas have these gigantic ears compared to their head, something like that. Cats also have those triangle ears, like that. All right. And we're just gonna give them little mouths by curving a line out, curving a line out, just like that. Okay, we can do that on all of our animals. I'm gonna give Daphne kind of a sadder face because she always looks sad. And our Chihuahua, we're gonna make our Chihuahua super happy. Something like that. All right, so next I'm gonna add some tails. Uh, I noticed on Daphne, Daphne has a really straight tail, almost like that. It just comes right straight out of her body. She doesn't have a curl at all. My cat, though, she has a very curvy tail, and it comes out something like that. And then our Chihuahua has a really, really tiny, tiny, tiny little tail that sticks out the side like that. Okay. Now that everything is basically drawn, now I can take my Sharpie because I know where all my lines are and I'm only gonna draw the lines that I wanna keep and everything else I'm gonna erase later. So I'm gonna start up here at the top and I might fast forward this a little bit so that you can just see it quickly. All right, so there is my picture of my three animals. We got a chihuahua, a cat, and Daphne, my dog. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and back and erase now all my little lines that I don't wanna keep.
surprised. So that's my finished drawing. It's just in black and white, but I might go back and add some color in a little bit. And I did forget one thing. Daphne would never be anywhere unless she had her ball with her. So I'm gonna put a ball right next to her there so that she's got her ball. And that's gonna do it. I just drawing. I just added a few whiskers and some dots to the dog and cat's faces because uh, I realized I forgot that part. Uh, how did you do, Michael Keaton Batman? I drew my dog Ace the Bat Hound. All right, man, keep trying. That's great. That was really fun. I can't wait to keep practicing. I would love to see your drawings. Please, 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 please send me your drawings to ncosina at cacmp.org. All right, artists, I gotta go and I'm gonna go get some lunch. Uh, love you guys, hope you're staying safe, and I will see you soon.